Okay, guys, it's time to learn about decimals. Here are some notes here. To understand this, what is, you know exponents? Well, what is 1 divided by 10 to figure out the negative exponent? A negative exponent is not like negative number. It's actually something easier. Take a look. What is 1 divided by 10? You also know it's 1 tenth, but it's actually written as a decimal. This is a tenth place. You can, what's 1 tenth divided by 10? It is 100, of course. 100. We do the division. This is why there's a hundredth place. This hundredth place means nothing. If you put a zero here, you might think it's ten hundredths. But make sure you know it's equal to one tenth. So putting a zero here won't matter. But if you put a zero here, it means only one hundred. And one hundred is smaller than ten hundredths. So that's why it matters. This is how you can compare decimals. But this is why their places exist. This is why this is the meaning of the places. This is the exact meaning of the places. So to compare, we can just do that. Right? But we can easily evaluate numbers. What is zero? Is this? Like one tenth plus one hundred. Took a while, but it's actually eleven hundred. You can just look. Like, look at here. It looks like eleven. It's eleven hundredths. But if there's a zero after that, it's like eleven then it's just 1100 but it just won't always work since so sometimes you can get confusing like 0 0.010110 how much is this it is not this much amount of well this is tens hundreds thousands ten thousands hundred thousands millions It's not that much millions. It's actually only this much millions. Because there's a zero, that means nothing. This is what they mean. Not to compare. 0 0.0128. This is like, um, 128. 10 thousands because 0, 1, 2, 8 makes no sense. Well, it actually makes sense, but there's no point over the 0. You don't have to convert them to fractions. Using this method, we can easily compare decimals. I'm doing all these questions at random. So what is larger? It's definitely this one, since you have 7 tenths. It's like measuring, except it's backwards. That's actually the way you compare normal numbers. And you can actually have a whole number. It's not like it's only before, below 1. You know mixed numbers? It can actually be above 1. X can be above 1, or X can be below 1. And X is a decimal number in this case. So... You know a mixed number. Let's write 7 tenths. What will this be? It's actually, keep this whole number in its one place, like its normal place value. Then if it's 7 tenths, put a 7 in the tenths. This can be working out for normal comparisons too. For 6, it's like 1, 8, 4, 6, thousand. And make sure that I'm not actually uh, simplifying it, so don't blame me for any of this stuff. Now, decimal numbers is not always ending in this. We're comparing fractions. Let's do the simple method. So, for halves, this is simple. One half equals 0 0.5. So, three halves must equal 1.5. Four. So, 78 halves is basically, well, 39. But if it was 79 halves, it would be 39.5. Okay? So halves is simple. But what about 
thirds. What about seven thirds? It's actually two for the six. And then with the remainder is one, it's actually three, three, three because, um, or three bar. It's actually, I think it's three, four because it makes more sense. Because then it's seven. Actually, it doesn't, it's actually kind of confusing. Nope, I don't think so. I think this is why. This is like an estimate to me. One third is like zero point three 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 three. Okay, so two third is zero zero point six 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 six, and three third is zero point nine nine nine. But it's actually one. I don't know how mathematics explain this. I think I'm doing something wrong. I hope not. So this is how you get it. If there's a bar, which means it end it never ends. When you do zero point, when you do one fourth, it's actually zero point two five. So three fourth is zero point seven five. Two fourth is at least zero point five cents. Four five zero, but they're the same thing. Just remove this. You can convert. Then let's see five. One five is actually zero point two. And don't you notice something? One half is zero point five, and one fifth is zero point two. They have some kind of connection. Now one sixth and one seventh are kind of confusing. One eighth is zero point one two five. One ninth is zero point one 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 one. And one tenth is at least zero point one. Now one twentieth is zero point zero five one thirtieth is zero point zero three bar fortieth is zero point zero two five one fiftieth is zero point zero two and follows the same pattern this is the pattern and how you convert but this is the converting pattern now it's time to do some operation. Let's evaluate. We can already evaluate things. But what about addition? Let's see how we do addition and subtraction with decimals. Let's see how we do this. First we get a number. And get another number. Add them. Like a normal number, because you don't have to co don't convert them to fractions. It'll just make things worse. That'll make it more longer. It's like a whole number. Just think of this as a whole number. So this is three plus ten, thirteen, twelve point three two. Make sure you put the decimal. That's the only thing you have to worry about in addition and subtraction. Let's also use some methods. This one is simple, everyone. 4.37. You can use these methods, but what about 8.96? No, no, no. 8.37 minus 4.89. So first you do 0.37, then add a... Then you actually add 11 because you're actually supposed to minus less. 8, 4, 3.48. Sorry, sorry, sorry. So you can use these different kind of methods. You don't have to convert. No converting. Or else you can try converting, but it's going to take a longer time. Like we want to do 0 0.7 plus 0 0.37. You can do 7 tenths or 70 hundredths just to make it easier plus 37 hundredths equals like um, 107 hundredths which is 1 7 hundredths to get 1.07 but it's going to take a longer time. It takes a way longer time if you follow that. So don't do that. Now, addition and subtraction can be easy, but now let's look at the patterns and multiplication. Multiplication is just the same too, but except it's kind of like the opposite. If you multiply with fractions, you see the opposite. That's what is it same. So if you multiply by 10, 
But decimals, it's simple. 7.3 times 10 equals 73. Because you just remove, remove this decimal point. Or you move the decimal point. This way. If you want to do 7.96 times the 1,000, it's this, this, this. Since it's 7,000 and then 960. But if you want to do 0 0.357 times 1,000, well, this is 1,000. So it's going to be 0,000, but instead 357,000. Because you move the decimal point here, one, two, three. We do this one more time. It's three point five seven. But that's ten thousand. That's zero ten thousands, but the thousands. So if you don't have a whole number here, but if you have zero point zero something times a thousand, if you have zero point zero three five seven times a thousand, it will be even less. Because it's here, so you have to skip 2. So it'll actually be 335.7. There won't be so much. This is multiplication tricks. But what if I'm multiplying by 0 0.1? 0 0.1 times 0 0.7 is simple. First, let's just... It's like 0, 1 times 0, 7. 0 0.7. 0 0.28 times 0 0.5 We actually have um, This is 0 So first you put a 0 and it's 0 Then do 20, 280, 140 So it actually goes a little bit below it doesn't go above the value Because it's 0, 5 So it makes it even less But what about multiplying 0, 0, 1 0, 0.1 any number, let's just 78 times 0 0.1. It's actually reducing it, moving it to the left. So it's actually going to move it here, 7.8. If you want to do 0 0.01, it's going to make it even more. It's going to be 0 0.78 or 0 0.78. So no matter what, let's do this. 467, 4.6799 times 0 0.01. It's... 0 0.46799 since you have to move it if it's completely in times 0 0.0 times 0 no, times 0 1 now time point zero 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 one. now look at how small it's going to be oh but then you have to put another one oh and then put another one oh that is how small it's going to be Thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands. This is thousands, this is ten thousand. So it's like seventy nine hundred thousand. It, you can't believe how small that is. There can be really small equations. But this is not a multiplication completely yet. This is not even actual multiplication. Let me show you the stand. You know the standard multiplication? Well, this is what multiplication is. 7.8 times 3.6 So first you understand it you have you can it has to be like 21 or something So make sure you understand the point like where the point will be. It's going to be 21 or something This is what estimating helps you. It has to be on close to that point. Make sure you don't forget the point So then 48 then it's going to be 420 then get to 40 then it's going to be 2100 zero, zero. Let's add them up. 10, 5, 7, 8, 2. But remember, it has to be in the 21 nearby. So it's 28.08. That makes more sense. Instead of 2.80, instead of 2.8 it's instead of two eight e or 8 or 2.8. 0, 8 is the actual right one. Or instead of 2808 or even 0 0.2808. This one's definitely. This is what. But this one makes more sense. The most sense. You can use this for multiplying anything.
But what about dividing? Dividing is the last thing we're going to learn today. So first divide, decimals by whole numbers. First to become this. I think the better method is to do this. This is even worse for decimal ones. But this one you should multiply by 10. Multiply by this 10. Multiply this by 10. This kind of makes no sense. Okay, so this kind of makes any sense. Seventeen. Um, this is what seventy. On seventy, because it moved them to the points. The wording is kind of complicated, but if you have 3, 4, and 2 divided by 2.9, 0, no, 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 3.2 divided by 7.8, you first get them to a normal whole number. So you multiply by 10 on both sides. They're going to land as the same number. This is a good trick. This is 64. So 2 remainder 14. So even answer to this is 2 remainder 14. In fact, it's just removing the decimal point. But if they have different values, We first have to convert this to 10, going to, and then convert this to 100. It's still worth dividing. 1, 7, 2, 3, 3. But this is something wrong. So I think you should put the decimal point. In my opinion. I'm not sure. This is the vision is kinda of complicated for me. The vision's pretty complicated. Hmm. Multiplication, addition, and subtraction are basically my mastery. The basic idea of decimals with division. I think you should see other divisions online. Just in case that my answers are right. Because division I can ensure I can't ensure you that it I can't guarantee that I was right. I just hope it's right. But I hope you understand my decimal video. If you want to learn, you definitely learned a lot of decimal stuff. If you don't know a lot about decimals. Decimals is my game, baby. But wait, what about dividing patterns? This was one thing I can to show you in dividing. Alright, let me flip the page. So, dividing patterns. If you want to divide by 10... 4 8 divided by 10 is 0 0.78. But if you want to divide by 0 0.1, it's the opposite. Because they're basically rep rep coracles. Rep coracles means the opposite. So instead of dividing by, you get 78. So if you want to do 4.67 di divided by 0 0.1, you get 4.6 from 7. But if you want to do seven nine point seven eight six one divided by zero point zero zero one, well, first you will have to increase the tens, hundreds, thousands. 
So if we, this is ten thousands. So here, one, two, three, nine, seven, eight, six point one. This is how big it is. See, these can be really large. But if you want to divide by one, it's the same thing. 9.8 divided by 1 is 9.8. If you want to divide by 100, let's see, 7.86 divided by 100. It's basically moving at 0 0.786. No, even further. That's just 10. 0 0.0786. So this is how it feels. These are all the notes. Decimals are really a nice world. They're like an opposite magnetic facing. It can be the complete opposite at times. Okay, thank you for seeing this video.